What's up you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So we have some big news to talk about on this fine Sunday. Oh boy, so on TFW JT Prime 17, the leaked listing god, I love to call him, he gave us some new listings and finally the title on the next Transformers show that is replacing the cancelled Earthspark. And it is called Transformer Cyber World. And we have a bunch of listings here for the toy line that is coming out, I think, later this year, early next year, definitely. Uh, and I'm going to read through these and give you guys my thoughts on these character choices, as always. So first up here, we got CC Mirage. Now, I'm not sure what CC stands for, but maybe it's for, like, the new size class of the Deluxes. I'm not sure. But Mirage in this, it makes sense because they're trying to make him, like, one of the newer Kid Appeal characters since Rise of the Beast came out last year. So I could see why they chose Mirage. Not a bad pick. And we have Scorponok Strike Battle. Now, this is probably one of the bigger pieces for the new toy line similar to what they've been doing since RAD 2015 with some of the bigger gimmick figures or whatever. So Scorponok is in this. I mean, that's not too big of a deep cut. He's been in a lot of Transformers media lately with the Netflix shows, and I'm pretty sure he was in Cyberverse, correct me if I'm wrong. So I'm not too shocked by this, but um, it does make sense that they're putting Scorponok in here. And of course, with him appearing in Rise of the Beast, not really Scorponok himself, but drones called Scorponok. So yeah, this really isn't too surprising, but I'm glad Scorponok is getting another shot in uh, modern media. Next up here, we got Armor Galvatron. Uh, I'm curious to see what the armor type thing is here, if this is like a gimmick for the toy line or if it's like a one-off thing for Galvatron in the show. Uh, maybe each character is going to have some sort of uh, power-up or gimmick. We haven't had that in a long time uh, in Transformers cartoons, so that would be really cool. It's probably just for the gimmick toy line here because there's another character that's armored here that I'm going to talk about in a little while. But Galvatron, he's back. Uh, we haven't seen him since the Netflix show, so kind of a deep cut. Uh, we haven't really gotten him in a lot of Transformers media the last 10 years, so this will be interesting to see what they do with the character, whether or not he's going to be connected to Megatron, or if he is a revamped Megatron or not, so just going to have to wait and see with that. Next up here, this one is pretty surprising. CC Skybite, again with that CC thing. I don't know what that stands for. But Skybite in Transformers Modern Media. We got the Voyager class in uh, Generations coming out next year. We had him in Cyberverse. He was in he was in it for, I guess you could say, like a secondary role. He had a little uh, relationship with Jetfire there. Some history, which was pretty cool in Cyberverse. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do here. Here with, with Skybite's character, whether or not they're going to take inspiration from his uh, Cyberverse counterpart or uh, just interject something new with the character or just redo what they did in R.I.D. 2001 with him. But there seems to be a bit of a resurgence here with Skybite, him appearing in this new cartoon and, of course, him getting a new Collector's Voyager class figure next year as well. So a bit of synergy right there, which is kind of cool. And then we have another CC Meg Bull. Now I'm assuming uh, Meg stands for Megatron and I'm not sure what Bull stands for, whether or not it's a full word for something or if it's the the actual animal bull. I'm not sure, but that would be kind of cool if it is the actual animal bull. Maybe Megatron turns into some sort of bull or he has some sort of armor that transforms into a bull animal. That would be really dope. Uh, but I don't know, it's it's a little weird how they named that. You can't really tell unless we obviously see what the figure is. And then we have another CC Snarl. So I'm assuming this is going to be a Dinobot and not any of the other Snarl counterparts we've gotten over the years. If so, that's interesting that the Dinobots are back. Not really surprising, but I'm curious to see what they do with the characters considering we only got Grimlock in Cyberverse. Um, so hopefully... 
whatever they do with Snarl here is interesting. Uh, and not just the same old copy and paste with the Dinobots. But, I don't know, maybe they'll do something different and have it be one of the different iterations that isn't from the Dinobots. Who knows? Uh, and then we have another CCOP off-road. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be some sort of off-road vehicle form for Optimus Prime here. Because OP is usually the acronym that they use for Optimus Prime in these toy listings. So I'm assuming that's Optimus but yeah, Optimus with an off-road vehicle form, something that they've been toying around with recently. He was originally going to be some sort of off-road truck in Rise of the Beast from the concept art. And we have early figures of that Optimus Prime in, in the Rise of the Beast toy line. So it's interesting they're kind of taking from Rise of the Beast early concept work there and putting it into this new show. So that's kind of cool. And then we have a new sort of gimmick here, Chomp in Battle Grimlock. Now, we're finally getting uh, <laughs> new sort of bigger gimmick figures for Grimlock again. We haven't seen that in a while. I think the last time was R.A.D. 2015. So that's kind of cool if you think about it that way. But Grimlock, you know, really nothing too special here in, in terms of, you know, picking out different characters to use for a show. It's Grimlock. We've seen him a million times in Transformers Media over the years, so nothing really too amazing here, but I do love me some Grimlock, so I'm definitely not opposed to him appearing in another show. I just hope uh, they handle him right and they do some cool stuff with the character, because he really needs it. And I guess with Grimlock here appearing in the listings and Snarl, that probably is just Dino about Snarl, so nothing wrong with that. Just hope they do something interesting with the characters. And then we have these two listings that don't have any named characters to them. We have Armored, Cyber Changers, AST, and then Cyber Changers, AST, which I'm assuming is just whatever other gimmick within the toy line. Uh, I can't remember if they've done any other sort of Cyber Changers uh in the name with these other gimmick figures over the years because honestly i really don't pay attention to the gimmick stuff within the new shows i just really pay attention to the new deluxe class figures or warrior class figures because those are more uh complex and slightly more collector oriented than the gimmick stuff we got here but some of these character choices are pretty interesting like skybite galvatron and mirage here so hopefully the show is something good the title seems pretty cool cyber world uh usually when we do get uh cyber in the title it is kind of peak you know i did like cyberverse i thought cybertron 2005 was pretty great especially for the time so hopefully they continue with that trend here with cyber world and we just get a good show again because I, I really feel like it's been lacking ever since prime ended honestly even though i did like cyberverse it still felt like there was something missing but uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video just wanted to cover these massive leaks for the new uh cartoon coming out either later this year early next year i can't remember what the time frame was but uh yeah let me know let me know down in the comments below how do y'all feel about these listings the character choices and the title of the show all my social medias are linked down below including my email if you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or just regular display shelves in your homes, you could either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye.